Hello, my friends. How are you? This is Salesforce Chef. I am Salesforce Chef, and we have something exciting today. You know what are we cooking today? We're cooking something delicious, something fresh, something new, something that not many people know about. Here's a scenario. Let's say you have a client who wants you to analyze their code for efficiencies, security, and performance. And they have about 100 Apex classes, 100 test classes. How would you go about analyzing this code? Is going line by line, Apex class by Apex class the best way to do it? Or is there a more automatic, systematic way? How would you do it? Do you know of any ways to do it with the click of a button? There is industry best standard is PMD. Don't ask me what it stands for. Nobody knows. The people who came up with it don't really know. They just came up with it. PMD. Just think of it as PMD. PMD is an open source static code analyzer. PMD uses built-in set of rules to analyze code. Also, it supports the ability to write custom rules. Recently, PMD has released a set of rules to analyze Apex code. Very, very soon, we'll be looking at them and seeing how to use them to analyze our Apex class so that we can meet our client's needs. Just to be clear, PMD does not analyze compilation errors. It only analyzes static code. Basically, does not look for Apex errors. It only looks for style, security, performance. And we'll be looking at examples of these things very soon. Just to give you an idea what PMD finds, what PMD looks for is empty try-catch blocks empty if else blocks dead code as in unused variables parameters and private methods over complicated expressions such as unnecessary if statements or deeply deeply nested if statements suboptimal code classes with highly synchromatic complexity and duplicate code this is just to give you an idea of what kind of things pmd can help you identify now that you have a rough idea what pmd can do let's see how it actually does it let's see how you can set it up and start making use of it yourself the first thing you have to do is download pmd in google just type in apex pmd download then Go to this website, Apex Rule PMD Source Code Analyzer. And here you see the link download. And here go down. And download the latest version. PMD bin 6.12.0 zip. Once you download it, you get this file. PMD bin. We go next thing we have to do is go to our IDA. I'm using IntelliJ. After I download, I go to IntelliJ. This is what I use for my coding Apex in IntelliJ. I type in command shift A. This is a shortcut, and for actions, I put in PMD. And here, under preferences inspections, I click on PMD Apex. This is what we're looking for. Make sure you click on this checkbox. And the next important thing is, you see this for PMD executable. Here you have to find the run.sh file. This is a file in PMD that we downloaded, run.sh. Just point to it. PMD rule set is basically the rules we want PMD to use when analyzing our code. For the purpose of example, I've just taken three sample rules. One is from a best practice, one is from code style, one is from documentation. All right, so I have here is my rule set. Here is my sh file, then I click OK. Now that we've set up PMD for IntelliJ, let's analyze our classes using PMD. I go to Analyze, Run Inspection by Name, then I type in PMD here. I choose it. I want to run PMD on the whole project, and I click OK. Now we see running PMD Apex for project. Apparently, there were 3,491 results. Let's look at them. There were two warnings with our first class. Let's look what they are. So there, there is missing Apex comment, missing Apex comment for the class, missing Apex code for the method. Let's go to the next class. It's very similar, etc. So as you can see, PMD is a very systematic, very user-friendly way to analyze your code in a systematic fashion. As you might remember, my rule set had three basic rules. First one was unit test should not use CL data 
class naming convention and giving comments to apex classes and methods let's say you wanted more rules and you wanted to remove some of them for example this one let's remove and let's remove this one and then we go to this website pmd.github.io and on this website under apex rules we see all the apex rules breaking down into eight categories best practices code style design documentation error performance security and some additional rules under best practices apex unit test should have a search this is a really good one let's say you have a corporate requirement that all unit tests should have a search this is a good good practice you can have pmd test for that all you have to do is go down copy this and let's add this so we already have this should not use seal data true avoid global modifiers let's add that as well etc you can keep going you can take something from best practice from code style class name should always begin with an uppercase character this is very good let's take this one as well for loops my use braces etc there are a lot a lot of good rules one of the good things that pmd does it gives a priority on how important they think the rule is a lot of them are medium but some of them are high let's see if there is any high here right here this one method naming convention method name should always begin with a lowercase character and should not contain underscores this is very good begins with a lowercase and doesn't contain underscore so you can make pmd to check for this again all you have to do is just copy this rule and add it and you click save so next time you run pmd on your apex class in intellij it would be checking for all the rules that you included in this file this is wonderful right now that i've updated my rule set file let's run pmd again on our apex class and see what results we get let's run it on this analyze run inspection by name pmd actually let's just do the whole project let's see what we get so there were 62 errors 48 warnings let's see where they're coming from wow error the method name has underscores wow look at that it failed a high error as you can see the high errors I mean items that were marked with high show up as red method naming should not contain underscore where is it where is the method name oh look there is underscore here oh interesting this is great right remember the previous time we all we had were warnings about lack of comments now that we've updated our rule set we're picking up different kind of errors this is great very easy very very easy right i hope this video was useful for you i hope you enjoyed this video I hope you learned something useful but before i let you go i have three questions for you my first question is you don't have to answer right now but think about it if you have questions about pmd where would you post them second question is what does pmd stand for and third question is why would you use pmd and fourth question is, I said I have three questions, but actually there's fourth one. When will you make use of PMD? Can you go ahead right now and try run what I showed you?